The Disney Star Wars sequel trilogy being a disappointment is a surprise to no one save the same dimwits who created this trash fire. Even Raylos hated with their guts for robbing them of the shipping they had been fantasizing about since the release of The Farce Awakens. To a regular Star Wars fan, it was a disappointment that destroyed the franchise they love. To a hardcore fan, it was the furthering of the travesty they created with the elimination of the extended universe and relegated it to legends, so they hate it. All the goodwill that Kennedy, Johnson and Abrams thought they had was either created by money, as in given to them because the people who did it saw in it a monetary gain, or a lie that was designed because people were afraid of getting sued, getting destroyed, or because they know how dangerous it can be to go against Disney's wishes. Either way, the support that George Lucas initially showed, or that Mark Hamill later on had to agree on, is made up, and it can be proved thanks to those who collaborated with Star Wars, those who were a part of Lucasfilm, or those who were related one way or another to the people who created Star Wars. That is the case of none other than Marcia Lucas, who was not only married to the man back in the day, but who also edited the thing in 1977. And if you think Lucas here is just another grumpy old woman or something of a toxic man baby who knows not any better, think again! The woman won an Academy Award for her editing of Star Wars in 1977. She has been recognized as the person who kept George Lucas's vision in check for the big screen and has been lauded as one of the best film editors out there, even though she has not edited films for quite some time. We are talking about a woman who understood her ex-husband's vision so well, she edited the three films in such a way that allowed for the original trilogy to be truly timeless. In a biography recently published about the former vice president of production over at Lucasfilm and renowned executive producer of the Indiana Jones films, Howard Kasanjan, there is an excerpt in which Marcia Lucas's opinion about what Kennedy, Abrams and Johnson have done with the franchise says what we all have been saying since the films originally released. The excerpt reads, quote, I like Kathy. I always liked her. She was full of beans. I don't know what that means, but she was really smart and really bright, a really wonderful woman. And I liked her husband, Frank. I liked them a lot. Now that she's running Lucasfilm and making movies, it seems to me that Kathy Kennedy and J.J. Abrams don't have a clue about Star Wars. They don't get it. And J.J. Abrams is writing these stories. When I saw that movie where they kill Han Solo, I was furious. I was furious when they killed Han Solo. Absolutely, positively, there was no rhyme or reason to it. I thought, you don't get the Jedi story. You don't get the magic of Star Wars. You're getting rid of Han Solo? And at the end of this last one, The Last Jedi, they have Luke disintegrate. They killed Han Solo, they killed Luke Skywalker, and they don't have Princess Leia anymore. And they're spitting out movies every year. And they think it's important to appeal to a woman's audience. So now their main character is this female who's supposed to have Jedi powers, but we don't know how she got Jedi powers or who she is. It sucks. The storylines are terrible. Just terrible. Awful. End quote. I suppose Lucas here is also man baby, isn't she? I guess we can say that she's also a toxic fan. A toxic straight white male who hates Dre because she's afraid of strong women in her entertainment. And she hates Ray because she's an east or a foe, right? I think it's pretty well established here. The movies suck. As Marcia Lucas stated, the storylines are just terrible. They are quite pathetic if you pay attention to them. She's also right when she says that they made Rey this overpowerful character with great Jedi powers that she doesn't even know that she has and all that only to appeal to a female audience. That so far, so far, 
hasn't even shown up for buying the toys or the merchandise or to support these projects altogether. The only thing these movies have to show for is a misguided, dumb virtue signaling fan base that doesn't even agree on how quote unquote fantastic, I am using this with major air quotes here, how fantastic the new trilogy is. For those who love The Last Jedi, The Rise of Skywalker is trash. Those who hate The Last Jedi also hate The Rise of Skywalker. There's no real consensus, and it is all thanks to Kennedy. She's to blame for all this. Nobody, absolutely nobody likes all three of them, because they always find fault with something. One thing or another is always there. It was Kennedy, let me remind you also, that she uh, suggested the park's executives make Galaxy's Edge about new settings, new creatures and characters that were all their own, and that nothing would be related to George Lucas. And what happened was that this shite attraction lost millions. The films are supposed to be these great things, these great phenomena, right? And what was the final outcome? There is a fandom that is divided. The films that nobody cares about, that nobody watches more than once, maybe. The merchandise that is gathering dust in shelves. And of course, losing money as well, if we consider that Solo, the story, the movie, Solo lost money. And also if we consider that every installment in the franchise has made less, considerably less, than its predecessor. With all this in mind, and also paying attention to the fact that Marcia Lucas was married to George Lucas, and also that she edited the original three movies, considering all that, we can safely assume that here is a person that understands Star Wars, and clearly said so. This new generation of creators that are being helped by Kathleen Kennedy, they don't know shite about the universe of course number one and also they don't know anything about the lore they are completely oblivious as to what these films are all about they don't understand what the story is all about and of course they don't understand what the characters are all about for them it was just way too easy to substitute one character with another one they saw in ray a fitting substitution for Luke Skywalker. And let me tell you that that is not how things happen. They forgot the story was about a family, the Skywalker family, not the Palpatines. And certainly it was not about new characters. Now, that doesn't mean that you cannot have new characters. Of course you can, and of course you can establish them. But they didn't even pay attention to that. They didn't even try to do that. No. What they did was to trash on the old guard the old uh, creations and also of course they trashed the creator of this thing and they trashed on those original fans marcia lucas is right and i am just happy to see that someone that was somehow involved in lucasfilm at the time calls these people on their bullshit because that's what this is the ton of bullcrap and this for me is legitimization that their stories are crap and that no one should give a dime about them. Of course, this is only my opinion, so let me know yours down below in the comments. And until next time, everyone, peace out.